back to my channel. Today we're going to do a hits and misses for the month of September. Now most of these are new to me products. Um, some of them are actually brand new, so let's just dive right into it. My first hit is this. Yes, folks, the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. Um, I love this stuff. It has a hint of a peach smell, but it, I feel that it dissipates after just a few seconds. I can put this on and it'll last me an entire 12 hour shift with uh, either minimal blotting or just a little bit of cover, you know, a little bit of oil reduction just around my nose. I love this stuff. My next hit is actually this, the Milani Prime Shield, um, mattifying and pore minimizing oil free. It is much more of a little bit of a silicone kind of base. I have used it so much I'm starting to run out. I know, I'm gonna have to get some more. And it's super affordable. I mean, literally I just picked it up at Walmart. So you can see it's just very clear. But it really does help and I really feel like it really helps my um, foundation last longer. I'm just a little brain farty today. You'll just have to excuse me. And this is my favorite primer to wear under my next hit, which is this. Oh, my camera's not going to zoom in. It is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Another knockout, probably right up there in contention for my holy grail. Again, I can wear this for a full 12 hours at work and it lasts beautifully. There's no transfer, likes a minimal um, oil blotting just around my nose because I do have a really, really oily nose. And yes, top notch. Another hit are these. Now some of these have been out for a while, some of them have not. The ColourPop Trio here. We have the ColourPop Yes Please palette. The ColourPop She palette. And then the ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. Um, they have been in and out of stock. You may just have to check on ColourPop's website. Oh my gosh, I have used all three of these. This one's just like, oof, let's put that one in the back. <laughs> I've used all three of these so much already this month. It is unbelievable. Um, and they are very highly pigmented. On my eyes, at least, they'll last all day with just a little bit of an eye, eye primer. I can't even talk today. Why am I making a, movie, a video? I can't even talk. And I, I just love them. The color payout is awesome. I mean, this. Oh, look at this. Look at this. And if you're ever wondering why I'm not going to get the cat's pajamas from Laura Lee, it's because of this palette. This is a beautiful palette. And, I mean, I love my Kat Von D Shade and Light eye palette, but I think I like this one even better. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Next is this. The Too Faced Just Peachy eyeshadow palette. The matte one. I mean, look at these. Mm. Again, this is one of the ones I seem like I'm reaching for a lot. I just love the color payout. Yes, it has a little hint of a smell, but to me it's not that bad. I'm a nurse. Um, as long as it doesn't smell like infection or illness, I don't notice smells all that much. So, um, I am so thrilled that I bought this. And next is a brand new palette that I've only had for like about a week, 10 days. Um, but it's the Carity Just Peachy Palette. I have a thing for peach. But, oh my gosh, look at these colors. The color payoff is just outstanding. They, I've used several of them. I've worn them four or five times in a row here um, to go to work. And I've done two or three different kinds of eye looks. And I love this palette. I am so glad I took a chance and picked up the Carity Just Peachy Palette. Now on to a couple misses. The first is this. This CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliner. Um, 
I just don't tend to wear a lot of eyeliner when it is summer, but now that it's finally transitioning into fall, I've been buying a couple new eyeliners and I picked this one up. It was kind of a whim and I just, I don't like it. It just, I mean, I am pressing down pretty hard and I finally, yeah, I mean, you have to like press down hard and that's one thing to do it on the back of your hand to press down hard but when you're getting a little older like me and your eyelid, eyelids are kind of drooping just a little bit and to press down it makes it makes it skip it makes a very uneven line i don't like it it's gonna go bye bye now this one was very disappointing to me and i am going to keep trying it out i've only tried it a couple times it may be the primer it may be the kind of weather I was wearing it in. It may be that my face was reacting weird because of skincare I've been trying out. But was this the Bare Minerals Bare Pro? Oh, I, I was so disappointed. It just did not work out for me. I'm going to wear it though um, on a few days off that I have eventually coming up. I'm trying it with different primers, trying it with different powders, trying it with maybe different ways of putting skincare on before I put this on, just to see if this lasts. But when I tried this out, it literally was like gone off my nose and gone off my chin in just about five or six hours. And this is supposed to be, oh, up to 24 hours. Yeah, up to. Um, I was very disappointed, but I'm going to keep trying this. And next, and I think this is the last mist that I actually have for the month, is this Too Faced Melted Matte. I think this was in the Candy Johnson section um, of Ulta. And it's not, the, it's not the formulation, really. It is the color. Um, oh, I just thought, oh, look at this. Such a pretty peachy pink color. And I put a little swatch from the demo on my hand, and oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I get it home, and I put it on my lips, and it makes my lips look exactly the same shade as my face. It makes me look like I don't have lips at all. Ah, which is not the look I want to go for. I thought it'd be a really pretty soft pink. I mean, because it looks like it would be kind of a nice soft pink color. But on my lips, it just, boop, it's gone. So I was like, oh my gosh, do I take it back? Do I give it away? And I do think I have a way I might actually get some use out of it. And it's just by taking a little bit and just maybe popping it on. You know, kind of in the middle of my lips. For a touch of an ombre lip, as long as I have something dark. A dark lip. Um, otherwise... I'm probably not going to use this. The Melted Matte. Um, yeah, this color. It's beautiful. The formulation is good. But on my lips, it makes me look like I don't even have them because it blends in with the rest of my face. So, those are my hits and my misses for the month of September. Hopefully, now that I have a few more subscribers and a few people that actually watch my videos on a regular basis, I'm probably going to keep this up. Um... So with that, I'm going to say peace, love, take care of yourself. That's the nurse's orders. I'm going to kind of wash my makeup off and I'm going to go outside for a nice walk because it's finally decided that it wants to be fall today. Bye-bye.